Hey, what's going on? Nick Unsworth here from lifeonfire.com and this video is about the strategy of a virtual summit and why they rock so much and why you should incorporate this in your business. So stay tuned, you don't wanna miss even a second of this episode. Hey, what's going on? Nick Unsworth here and I'm a kick ass business coach and I'm on an absolute mission to help you find your purpose in life to help you love what you do for work every single day, to help you be the rock star that you are meant to be, to make more money than you ever thought was possible, and to have more time freedom so you can actually enjoy the life that you're living. I'm here to help you set your life on fire. All right, so we are back. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a quick overview of what a virtual summit is all about and some action steps and how you can get yours put together. And I'm gonna give you a little update about ours, which is the Life on Fire virtual summit and it's far exceeding our expectations so we're testing that funnel out we're testing everything we're running ads to it and our numbers are better than we even anticipated and so the cool thing is that i've done this in the past you know i've, I've coached other people on how to do these virtual summits and it not only creates brand positioning it helps build up your expertise but it's a way that you can build your email list you can build your brand you can create a business out of it and drive revenues too so um, for a quick overview a virtual summit is as easy as this. It's you take your niche, take what your skill is, what your passion is, and just identify that, narrow that niche. It's like our client, Amanda, um, you know, her brand is, is called Moms Making It Happen, and she wants to work with mom entrepreneurs and, and focus on that niche. Well, in her case, she might take 10 mom entrepreneurs and put them on this virtual summit. What if she reached out to Allie Brown, right? What if she reached out to major experts, major, uh, New York Times bestselling authors that are women that have kids and she goes out and networks and gets on her virtual summit people that are just high caliber high level that have huge followings right and so by doing that it's allow would allow her to put her face and her brand right next to all these other big experts and so in that strategy it builds her brand positioning and I'm going to share with you some details about how you can make it a win-win for everybody involved and so the key thing is that when you have a virtual summit, you are gathering people in your niche. It could be in health and fitness. It could be, you know, if it's in health and fitness, what if you get Jillian Michaels? If it's in health and fitness, what if you got, uh, you know, a big name in that industry? If it's in dating and relationships, what if you got Patty, the millionaire matchmaker on your summit? I mean, you want to go big. The person that scares you the most in your industry to go talk to, to be on your summit, that's exactly who you want. You know, for us, getting Kevin Harrington, the guy who's on Shark Tank for 150 something episodes, you know, that was, you know, a tough conversation, but he's now on our virtual summit and we can, and we're working with him, right? So it's super cool. So once you position them on the virtual summit, the next thing is that once you create this launch situation, you want to have it set up where after people opt in, they're then met with a page that pops up. And in our case, we're calling it the business on fire bundle. And so what happens is that many of our speakers are kicking in products and services into this bundle that's $97, they're kicking in their you know, digital downloads, and at the end of it, uh, at the end of the day, that for 97 bucks, you're getting access to John Lee Dumas's webinar on fire, you're getting access to my product launch on fire, you know, $1,000 course, $600 course, you're getting access to um, you know, Michael Burnoff's live training called Call to Action, you're getting access to our, our event in December called Ignite, that's a $1,000 ticket, and we have many other entrepreneurs that are kicking into that bundle as well, and the cool thing is that when you do that, it not only creates sales at the $97 level, but you take that money and have it go to charity and do something amazing in your niche. And so the cool thing is that as we're doing this, and we're gonna be using a crowdfunding platform called Indiegogo, so all that those $97 bundles that are being sold after people opt in, that money's going to charity. In our case, we're, um, we're doing it for Pencils of Promise, which is an amazing, uh, organization that builds schools in Guatemala and Ghana and all over the world and you know I was out there if you haven't seen the video um, check out the, 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 the footage of when I was in Guatemala with my fiance and we were going through the country and building school and, and doing all kinds of cool stuff and so the sweet thing is that the model will help you build your brand positioning your expertise you're gonna feature other experts on it and after the opt-in, you're going to you know, have it so that that person is buying a product with those 
donations goes to an organization that's important to you. And then the sweet thing is that when you think about, well, how do I get some of these names on my summit? Well, you can make it a win for them. You know, if you're good getting the expert in your industry and they're like, well, my time is so valuable. I don't just you know, talk on these things for an hour. It's like, I need something, I need money or I need to sell something. Allow them to sell on it, you know? Um, give them the buyer's list on this, on your bundle sales. You know, make it a win for them. Go out and get one big name and one anchor first. And then once you have the big name, it's easy to get the rest. In our case, like once we had Kevin Harrington or Brian Tracy, it's easy to get the rest of the names. And so the cool thing is when you launch this, if you've got 10 people on your summit and they're all getting the buyers list, it's, it's, it's not crazy for them to want to promote, right? So you can encourage them to promote at the same time. And when you do the launch and if you have multiple people promoting, that is part of what's called earned media. That is Brian Tracy promoting the virtual summit because he's speaking on it. You've got Mike Canning's promoting the virtual summit as he's speaking on it. We're, we would be promoting it, all these other people promoting it, and it creates buzz in the industry. When people see their inbox and they see a message from two, three different people about this one event that's going on, it creates this, oh crap, I have to go check this thing out feeling, right? And that's what we want for your business. So I encourage you to go out and um, just truly trust your gut. Drill down, what is your focus for your virtual summit? Get the one person to be on it. Model what we're doing. Right? Everything that we're doing right now at the Life on Fire Virtual Summit, you can go to that website, lifeonfirevirtualsummit.com. Look at the landing page. Look how we're doing it. Follow this entire process because this not only will change your life and change your business, it's going to add so much value to consumers. It adds value to the speakers. You raise money for charity. So um, I've been talking about this a lot because I'm so passionate about the model because as you go through it, you know, I truly believe with the Life on Fire Virtual Summit, I truly believe we're going to raise over $100,000 for charity. And as we go through this, um, I think that we're going to prove out the model even further. And what my big mission is, is that if we do it and we raise $100,000 and you do it and you raise, who knows? It could be $100,000 too. What if it's $10,000? What if 10 people raise $10,000? How much good is being created from that? So I want to encourage you to really dig deep. And if you've got your passion, you know what your purpose is, but maybe you don't have all the experience yet, a virtual summit is the fast track to building your brand positioning, networking amongst amazing entrepreneurs, and setting yourself apart and getting up at their level fast, add value for them, put in the work, you know, tie this to charity so that it does some really amazing things for charity as well. And this will build your brand. This will build your email list and this will get your business off the ground and off to the races. So again, I want to encourage you to go to lifeonfirevirtualsummit.com and just take a look at what we're doing. Um, if you're looking at this right now and saying, you know what, I don't think I'm ready for a summit or I don't want to do a summit, then go check ours out. Um, at the end of the day, we're going to be um, af after you opt in, once we go through our launch process, which is going to be a lot of fun to watch, um, we're going to be shooting the videos and every Tuesday and Thursday we're going to be live. We're going to be sharing clips and footage with Kevin Harrington, with Gary Vaynerchuk, all these amazing speakers every Tuesday, Thursday, Tuesday, Thursday, Tuesday, Thursday, all the way through and past, you know, into January. And that content and that live interaction, we're going to help you get your questions answered, help you set your business and life on fire. So take a look, model what we got going on, stay plugged in, and it's lifeonfirevirtualsummit.com. And we'll catch up with you soon. Cheers. I'm here to help you set your life on fire.